The top story we're tracking news of big developments in the Indian cricket team after the team's defeat in the Test Series against England. Ravi Shastri has been appointed director of the Indian team and he will now control and handle the team. Coach Duncan Fletcher will report to him and uh, Shastri will coordinate with the chief selector Sandeep Patil and captain MS Dhoni. This is an unprecedented move and puts an Indian on top of the team pyramid. Sanjay Bangar and uh, Bharat Arjun will be assistant coaches. Bowling coach Joe Dawes and fielding coach Trevor Penny have also been sacked. R. Sridhar has now been appointed the new fielding coach. Our sports editor Bikrant Gupta is uh, with us on the phone line. Bikrant, uh, what is the kind of equation that Ravi Shastri shares uh, with the Indian team, especially Captain Dhoni? Uh, workable, workable because he's been commentating see me and uh, remember uh, he'd been on different panels for uh, a long time. Um, I think uh, Ravi Shastri right now is the step in direct, uh, uh, right uh, direction. But the only thing as uh, Boya just said, uh, will he be a long time coach or uh, will we see Sanjay Bangar uh, stepping into the role of uh, the main coach? I have a feeling, I have a feeling that uh, Duncan Fletcher will not be the Indian uh, coach uh, come the World Cup. He, uh, his contract uh, would be bought over and uh, it will be Sanjay Bangar plus uh, Ravi Shastri who would uh, have the Indian uh, World Cup uh, dreams. Right, and Vikrant, as of now, it seems that uh, the BCCI is also struggling with uh, the team formation. It doesn't really know what the problem is and how to stem it because the performance of the Indian side during the test series shows that there's uh, something that's majorly lacking on the Indian team. Well, uh, you could uh, look into this decision also uh, two ways, uh, see me. Either the glass is half full or it's half empty. It could be an ostrich-like uh, situation where you uh, sack the support staff, put the entire blame on them and then say uh, everything's uh, going to be alright. It will not be uh, unless you uh, decide on the captaincy, unless you decide on the players, unless you decide on uh, your preparatory uh, camp. Uh, but then uh, the coaching staff has a role to play. Uh, if you look at the positives, uh, there could be a change in your vision. Um, is, is the coaching staff uh, bold enough to uh, rein in the captain? Uh, because uh, we've seen uh, now in the last three, four years that Dhoni is an absolute power. Uh, I don't think uh, Duncan Fletcher calls the shot. Uh, you want uh, the captain to call the shot, but the captain cannot just be an absolute uh, power. Uh, Duncan Fletcher uh, obviously doesn't have uh, too many strategies, or if he has, he's not been able to implement them. So you need a workable relation where Ravi Shastri, because of his stature in Indian cricket, uh, would uh, and can be in a position to uh, rein in uh, Mahendra Singh Dhoni. Again, uh, the selectors will have to decide on Dhoni very soon. Do they want him uh, as a test captain or do they want to take risk and, uh, and, and give it to uh, somebody else? Dhoni, of course, will be the captain uh, for the World Cup in the ODIs. But then uh, these are the things that uh, the Indian board will have to sit and discuss, A, with the senior players and B, with the selectors as well. Right, we can't stay on with us. We're also being joined by our consulting editor, Sports Borea Majumdar, who's with us on the phone line. Borea, how do you see these developments? And also, do you see this as an attempt to sideline coach Duncan Fletcher? Of course, it is an attempt to sideline coach Duncan Fletcher. Simi. I see this as damage control. Okay, uh, There has been stinging criticism back home based on the performances. The BCCI has not acted for four years. Criticism has been rising from all quarters of the media. As Vikrant was saying, you can look at it in a way that oh, I'll sack the support staff and will everything become okay? Nothing will become okay. I mean, sacking Trevor Penny and sacking Joe Dawes, these are soft targets. If you want to make Ravi Shastri team director, why not sack Duncan Fletcher? Why not buy over his contract right at this point in time? Because if Ravi Shastri is taking calls and if Duncan Fletcher is reporting to Ravi Shastri, then what is the utility of Duncan Fletcher and what Ravi Shastri cannot do? Question number one. Question number two, Ravi Shastri as team boss, what is Mahendra Singh Dhoni's position going to be like? Will there be conflict of authority? Because Ravi Shastri is a strong personality, Mahendra Singh Dhoni is a strong personality. You know, obviously the two share a very good equation. Let's put this on uh, record. Ravi Shastri and Mahendra Singh Dhoni share a very, 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 very good equation between each other. So that is a positive. But the role of Duncan Fletcher needs to be clarified right at this point in time. Because I see no role for Duncan Fletcher. I agree with Vikram. I don't see Duncan Fletcher continuing as India coach till the World Cup. Now, if that is the case, why are you giving him a lease of life in England? If you sack Trevor Penny and Joe Dawes, why not Duncan Fletcher? Sanjay Bangar is absolutely a step in the right direction. He is a fresh guy. He is a young guy. He's been there, done that, played with some of these players. So it's a hugely important step. But there is also a lot of confusion seen. Duncan Fletcher's role not clear. Ravi Shastri as team director. Is this an interim move? 
or will you ask Ravi Shastri to step in for the Australia series, which is hugely important in terms of a test series because it's going to be 20 times more difficult than England. And then will he stay on for the World Cup? Because India defending champions, don't forget that, when they go to Australia to defend their title for the World Cup. Right. So, Absolutely. Bora, stay on with us. We'll also be joined by former cricketer Syed Kirmani on the phone line. Uh, Kirmani, Syed Kirmani, how do you see these uh, developments? Do you think that bringing Shavi, Ravi Shastri into the fray will actually help the team's performance? Well, this uh, suggestion has been uh, expressed um, uh, many years ago by me that... Uh, along with the if they are only interested in a foreign coach right there should be a competent uh, and an experienced um, uh, cricketer from uh, former cricketer from india to uh, help one and other right this would have been uh, taken long ago nevertheless uh, it's, it's a good change which is taking place and let's hope the indian team uh, does better and they will do better whether a b c d are there with the team or not all right, so everyone basically welcoming the move to get uh, Ravi Shastri on board. I also want to get in a word from Nikhil Chopra, former cricketer who is with us on the phone line. Nikhil, you are saying that uh, Ravi Shastri has been made the director, but on the ground, if Duncan Fletcher continues to be the coach, there is very little that change uh, as far as dynamics are concerned. Nikhil, are you with us? Alright, we seem to have lost that line uh, with uh, Nikhil Jura. We'll try and reconnect with him and get uh, his reaction on these developments uh, as well. Now, India, remember, let the test uh, series slip away from its grasp after an emphatic win at uh, Lord's.